But first, Jason Chauvin has a quick look at sports. Jason? Coming up, the Macomb High football team looks to rebound after a tough homecoming loss to West Hancock. Here from MHS head football coach Kelly Sears as he talks about the keys to tomorrow's game against Quincy Notre Dame. And JT Greider has a quick look at the weather. JT? Hi, Jason. Take Good for some of those sports as we send it over to Jason Chauvin. Thanks, Danny. Coming, coming up in sports, it's not outside, but inside. I got plenty of highlights, including the WIU volleyball team playing host to non-conference foe Valparaiso on Tuesday. See if they were able to snap their two-game skid in Brophy Hall. Also, the MHS volleyball team took the court on Tuesday versus Bushnell, Pretty, Bushnell Prairie City High School on Tuesday. Find out if they were able to extend their three-game winning streak. Coming up next on Live at Four. Welcome back to Live at Four. The Macomb High Hillary Bomber Dunn football team looks to rebound Western after Illinois a tough University homecoming winning. loss to West Hancock. Head football coach Kelly Sears says his team can't afford another slow start. Came out of the gate and just did not perform in the first quarter. And, uh, you know, as, as we talked to the players, the big thing is, is you got to find that energy that gets you excited about playing the game. And you can't come in and get punched in the mouth three times and then decide that, hey, it's time to play. So, uh, you know, our big thing is right now is we got to get out of the get go and we got to get ready to play. But uh, in preparation for Quincy Notre Dame this Saturday, one thing Coach Sears wants to focus on is the defense creating takeaways. You know, turnovers, turnovers again. I know at Quincy Notre Dame, they are, uh, they've been in the minus 10 category. They've had five turnovers in the last two ball games, and uh, hopefully we pick up a couple turnovers and kind of go from there and see what happens. It's the field again tomorrow night as they travel to take on Quincy Notre Dame at 7 p.m. Staying with Macomb High now, the Lady Bombers volleyball team took the court playing host to Bushnell Prairie City High School on Tuesday night. We're going to get right to the action here with Jordan Hare serving it up for an early ace for the Bombers in the first set. But just a bit later in the set, it's Haley Coker now who sets it up for the return. But the return goes just wide to give the Spartans to the point and they widen their lead early. Set point now for the Spartans and the Lady Bombers can't handle the serve as the Spartans take set one 25-23. But we're going to flash forward to the second set, and it's a battle going on between the Bombers and the Spartans here. Check it out. Back and forth they go, and the volley keeps going until eventually the Spartans send it out of bounds for the Bomber point, and the Bombers take the second set 25-12. to 12. Match point for the Bombers now as Coker sends it back, and BPC can't handle it, and the Bombers take the point and match. Macomb High comes away with a win in this one, and the Bombers are riding high now on a four-game win streak. They take the court again Saturday when they travel to take on Quincy High in the Quincy High Tournament. Also in Macomb High Sports, the Bombers golf team competed in regional action. First off, the boys golf team traveled to North Galesburg, to, traveled north to Galesburg for the Class 2A Regional at Bunker Links. The Bombers finished seventh in the nine-team field with a combined team score of 350. Senior Nick Elting tied for third overall, while freshman Blaine Sutton tied for eighth. Elting and Sutton advanced to, advanced to Monday's sectional at Metamora Fields. And over to the MHS girls golf team, their regional at Brown County. The Lady Bombers finished in fourth with a combined team score of 408, missing the sectional cut as a team by only three strokes. Freshman Emma Thorman led the way with an 88 and took fourth place individually. Junior Kelsey Cawthon kept pace by shooting a 100. Thorman and Cawthon advanced to Monday's sectional hosted at Lincoln High School. Moving over to Western Illinois now, the WIU volleyball team was in action against non-conference foe Valparaiso on Tuesday. We start things off in the second set. Claire Grove sets up Melanie Potnode, who puts down the kill. Western up early in set number two. Still in the second set, Valpo's Taylor Grabowski with the attacking error. Leathernecks still on top early. Later in the set now, Western trying to hold on to it. It's Shia Sanders and Lexi Kolshevsky combining for the block assist there. Then it's Claire Grove for the Leathernecks with one of her eight kills to keep Western on top in this one. But Velpo would eventually regain the lead in set number two. This is set point for the Crusaders. It's Taylor Grabowski once again. Velpo takes set two, 26-24. To the third set we go. Velpo's Catherine Carlson with a little tip over the net to give the Crusaders the point. Later in the set, it's Valpo again. Rachel Bruinsma and Grabowski go up for the block assist to increase Velpo's lead. The Crusaders go on to take set three 25 to 21 for the match sweep. 
So the Leathernecks continue their three-game slide falling to Valparaiso. Melanie Potno led the way with 11 kills for the Leathernecks. Western will be in action again as they hit the road to Tulsa, Oklahoma to take on Oral Roberts as they resume Summit League play. And that's all I got for sports. Final word is next.